requires prayer. But there has to be a common understanding about fair play. That both teams know that this next next call is going to be a fair play. Not that the guy is going to score from a fair play. That's something. If ever it happens that from a fair play situation another team scores into a goal, then you disrupt it and say, sorry, it wasn't correctly started. Guess anything. Guess or imagine that the elephant came down from the heaven or whatever. You dismount the goal from a fair play start. Because the fair play isn't to use against the opponent. But I, I hope there's some situation that you understand where you can use fair play. More than likely you might see them tomorrow. Let's see. We don't know yet. But uh, if, if there comes to situation that, that uh, for example, if I can use the fair play, I'm really happy to suggest it to the uh, teams. Originally, our way of working with it was that we referees don't make our opinion. We don't give our opinion about the fair play. That the players decide it themselves. The team decide it. But it has to happen quick. Because we don't want to be waiting like two minutes. What the uh, arguing will be uh, our ends. If they are quick with their decisions, then we can have a fair play. If they aren't quick or if they aren't settled it, then we have just a normal fair play. I mean, facial. Then we have a facial from the border or wherever it's needed. But fair play is a good tool when you can use yeah. The fair play system is usually, especially in the higher level, the higher leagues, the better leagues, and the better. Kind of an infield code of conduct for them. They already know when they go to the situation. And then, of course, the kids, the youngsters, when they watch the adults game, then they all leave. So they learn it in a very early stage. Sometimes the players don't understand if you even suggest that what about the fair play, and you see one player coming, like the face is all red, and they go to the face like this. They don't listen, then it's put in their face, so because it's not according to the rule. But still, it's reversed. Okay, then the next thing. Defending team. So this way, they need to let leave the area and let the goalkeeper do his job. This is exactly the same thing as with the wrong distance or incorrect distance. Sometimes I see things happening so that the goalkeeper has the ball, this player has already turned, but it's still close, like two meters, but it's already starting to go away. Goalkeeper throws the ball and hits the back of this player. What happens? What do you do? Yeah. Play on. Play on. It's not active obstruction, it's not obstruction, the player is trying to get away. It's then the stupid goalkeeper if he can't throw the ball to the right play. <laughs> <laughs> but if the player stays and stops one meter away from the goalkeeper, then we do we need to study this Blow the whistle. Be careful with these because there are ways and there are ways to go away. You can turn and move like this, or you can move and then move like this. If, as normally, players, the field of play in floorball, they have the tendency to run. Of course, they stop every once in a while, they stand still on their wall. The the but the in the this case, if the goalkeeper has the ball, the minute, the minute. it's pretty obvious that everybody's going already to this direction. 
And if he plays according to the tactics of his team, he's in a hurry. But if he keeps walking, unless he's injured, mm -hmm. then I would say that at least you have to tell him to run away. It's up to you. But when they turn and start to run, clear situation, A goes on. We usually use the sentence, we, we yell, clear the ball. It means the offender has to clear the box because he has no right to be in the box when the goalie gets the ball because the goalie can run to the line and pass the ball. And it means that the offender is always far too close to the goalie than he's supposed. Then you have to be aware that some players some players are clever, they stay here, they hide. And when the goalie is coming here, they cut in front of the goalie. And then you give a free hit from obstruction. It's, 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 it's not a too many penalty unless they do it repeatedly. If they do it repeatedly, you've already given a free hit once, maybe a second time for a second player, but no third free hit anymore. Third time, you can even give it from the second time if it's a clear obstruction. Because then it's their decision always to cut and prevent the goalie from opening the ball somewhere here. And that they try. That they try they, they, always. They, they, yeah. then, then one thing is that some smart asses might be outside the box, but with their weeds, they put their uh, sticks in front of the uh, goalie when they try to spot, uh, put the ball into play, play because the sticks can be here and they are like smart and hey I'm not in the box only the stick is but it's still the ball yeah. Yeah. what if the goalie tries to pass to his own thing and someone beside that and there's a player in the back you get what I mean you mean the player is here yeah and then there's a defending player just in front of him this is the defender. No, that's the keeper. Okay. Uh, now, now you have to come and draw. So you mean yeah. the goalie? There's a whole yeah. defender here, and there there's the uh, yeah. other team defender, and the goalkeeper is trying to pass the ball to him. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, it is. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a beautiful goal. Yeah. Because okay, in a sense, if the um, opponent is too close to the goalie, it's still his fault. But as I said, the goalie is stupid if he drops it yeah, yeah. straight into the opponent's play. Yeah. Um, okay, then there was a question about uh, how goalies are allowed to obstruct. Okay. A defender behind the goal pass, uh, brings the ball this way and the opponent here is heading this way and giving pressure to the de defender. The goalie here decides to block his way. The question is when is the goalie blocking and when is he entitled to stay because now we have to remember there's this goalkeeper's area here. The rule is, the goalkeeper's area, no one else can go in this area than a goalkeeper. Yeah. The blade and stick can go, but the player can't step in. Yeah. Remember, stick and blade, yes, but no players. You can't step on the, on the area, and even the line is considered to be a The line is a <coughs> Same as when the goalkeeper is outside, if his foot is on the line, like this, on the line he's inside. He can still play with his hand, because his foot is on the line. If it's over the line, he's out, but on the line he's inside. Same as this. He's inside, okay. And this guy starts to give pressure here. The goalie helps the defender by blocking his, the opponent's way. You see often that the goalies do like this. They take 
a lot of space. They put their foot on the on their line here. They put their foot here and other foot here and block this guy. If they do it in time, that they can take their place like I can't say half a second, one second, two seconds before, but that they are just blocking and standing here, then it's all right. The offender has to go round him to get the ball uh, from the defender who's going behind. But if the goalie sees the guy coming and just in front of him decides to do this, that's obstruction. And that's too many times. That's not a lot. So it's a question of timing. How the goalie times his movement according to the uh, opponent. If he's in time, he can stand there. It's fine. He can't move after, afterwards. If he sees that the guy is going past, he decides to take some more space. That's wrong. But if he takes his space like this, the guy goes round. If the guy hits him, it is uh, it's a two minute foul. Yeah. Okay. Sorry? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, I, I understand. If, if the goalkeeper is active and strikes uh, first blocks here and then continues, you mean blocking? Yeah. That's wrong. You, you can't be active. You can't block a player without the ball. Yeah. You can't, the, the goalie can't continue being active. You can take your place once and then you can't be active anymore. So the screen which you see in basketball yeah. Yeah. is forbidden in football. Yeah. And then the, 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 the so-called moving screen. Yeah. Moving screen is forbidden. I have to follow. Yeah. Yes, sir. You need to be closer. So you can see the yellow line. If the situation happens over there, Abe is over there. Vishnu, you need to come down all the way down to the red line. Yeah. In between this yellow and red. But I think behind the yellow line or near to the yellow line. Okay. Yes, sir. Do you have anything? First game, five zero. The next one is going to be higher because people are going to stand. People want to do so much. Yeah? It's going to be hard.
Oke, okay, uh, jadi request finish. Indonesia untuk Indonesia. Ha, ha, ha.